Good morning everybody, I'm Logan and today I'm going to be taking you along with me here on Broyan's farm. So right now as you can see here behind me, it's snowing and the first thing I'm going to do today is I have to go down to the potato storage. We talked to another farmer over the mountain from us and they're actually going to take three bins of potatoes which is really good. So I got to get the skid loader, head down to the potato storage, get them out because he's going to be here in about a half hour. Alright so actually as soon as I got off the camera talking to you guys about how that farmer was going to be here in a half hour. He was actually coming down the lane. He was early, which isn't no problem at all. So hopped in the skid loader, came down, got him his three bins, and now this is what the potato storage is looking like. As you, if you remember from my previous videos when I was putting these in here, we had them, I think the whole storage was double stacked all the way to the door, and then there was just one bin here and one bin here single. That way we could bag out of them. So now, as you can see, we got rid of I don't know, two, three, four, five, like seven bins or something like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these, maybe just, I don't know if I'm gonna drop one or two down. Anyway, set them here. That way we have one nice bin of yellow potatoes, or actually white potatoes to work out of, and one nice bin of red potatoes. drop down now we have nice easy access to the red potatoes and the white potatoes and since it's only like I think 27 degrees out and I've had the door open probably for about a half hour 45 minutes it's already pretty cold in here so I decided to just put the heater on for probably about an hour get it back up to temperature and then I'll shut it back off that way it'll be sealed in here and the temperature should kind of stay the same <laughs> So now that the potatoes are taken care of and the skid loader is put away, I'm back in here in the greenhouse now. And as you probably remember from my previous videos, all this was kind of filled up with flats and trays and pots and everything. Uh, I was sanitizing, Frank was down there washing, and Dave was in the seed room getting all the heat mats set up. Now all that's done, taken care of, and the only thing we're working on now is sanitizing. And my dad got a good start. I'm taking over for him now while he's eating lunch. And what we're doing is just getting everything sanitized. That way, that way there is no diseases left behind. And it's the same mixture, basically, as what we were dunking those flats into. So that way they're, they're good and clean. It's the oxidate mixed with water. And we're just going over and making sure we get every single part of these tables and floor. Um, crack Every single crack and cranny, crevice, whatever you want to say. And that way there's no diseases left behind and this thing will be completely clean. That way, hopefully, because today's Friday, we were hoping to start Saturday, but since it's not a real sunny day, which is a good thing, that Oxide is gonna be able to sit on the tables for a while, get everything sanitized real well, that way, because if it's real sunny, and that sun comes out and dries it off, the Oxide isn't doing completely what it should do because it's not sitting on there and sanitizing for long enough. So, it's kind of a good thing. This will sit on here for a couple hours, clean everything real good and then like I said I don't know if Saturday um, Saturday is probably going to still be wet in here so we won't start Sunday we don't like to do a lot on Sundays if we don't have to but Monday for sure 100% we will be in here seating flats and we're going to get these greenhouses going and the only other thing I wanted to show you before I start sanitizing again was the seed room as you've seen before um, this was just blue styrofoam board and then on top of that we laid the heat mats on top of that we put the screen mesh that way the heat mats are grounded in case something would puncture that uh, heat mat and then we could get electrocuted if we we're watering or something and then over top of that he put this nice black plastic depending on what kind of vegetable or flower or whatever we're having here different ones need to be 
at different heats. So that's the whole point of them. We have kind of looks like a menagerie here, but it's actually very organized. Um, all these plugs here are labeled as to which mats are which, and then they get plugged into the outlets up here. And then they are run off of these thermostats, which we will set according to what flats are where. So it kind of seems complicated. It's really not. Um, probably for you guys it does. And even for me, it still is a little bit, but I've been doing this now for a couple years. I'm starting to get used to it and I'm starting to get the hang of things. So if you've been following along with my channel, you'll know that we've been working in the greenhouses quite a bit, getting ready to start planting. And in my last video, I said, no question about it, we were gonna start planting or seeding Monday. And well, today is Monday. And we're not starting, but that's not because we're not ready. It's only because it's been getting like as a high, getting to a high of, I think, 20, 25 during the day, and it's down to like single digits, almost negatives at night. So it's just not worth us starting in the greenhouse and heating, wasting all that money. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait two more days. The temperatures are gonna get up to about 40 in the day, 20, 30 at night, and that's pretty ideal for starting. So that's what we're gonna do. So today, in the meantime, we're gonna start getting some straw out of the barn here behind me, and then we're gonna go start spreading it on the garlic field. All right, so straw is loaded. Now we're gonna head over to the garlic field, start laying it out throughout the field, placing bales where we need to, and then we'll start spreading it. So now that we got the straw loaded up, we got it out here to the field, and now Frank and Steph are starting to spread it. Looks like they're already doing a really good job, and they already got quite a bit done, surprisingly. It's going faster than I thought. Basically what we're doing is pulling the bale off, breaking it open, taking the slices out, and then spreading it as evenly as possible across the garlic field. And as you can see, you really can't see much snow underneath this layer of straw, which is what we want. That's what's kind of nice about the snow. Kind of tells you how thick you're laying it on. So this looks pretty perfect. And hopefully we can do this across the whole field. All right, so while Frank and Steph are working on the straw, I came down here to this old wagon we have, and it's just filled with a bunch of lumber. The lumber is, for the most part, good, but um, it's, and it's not a bad spot for it, but it's just that I had got that brand new dump trailer and I want a nice place to keep it under, so that way the sun and the weather isn't getting at it, even though it's probably not gonna hurt it. It'd have to be sitting out for a long time to do any kind of damage to it. But anyway, I just wanna get it under cover, so, I got down here with the Kubota and a jack, some jack stands, and I'm gonna pump these tires, well actually I'm not gonna pump them up. I'm gonna lift the wagon up, take the tires off, and then go get them all replaced because as you can see, every single one of the tires is completely shot. So it's good to do this anyway just because it's not good to let that thing keep sinking down into the dirt because eventually those wheels are gonna get down in and then the wheels are gonna rot. They're gonna have to try and find new wheels. So. To save a lot of problems, I'm gonna get this fixed, get it out of here. I'm gonna unload the lumber in our barn, which this won't all be today, but this will be within the next couple weeks. And then that way I can dump back my dump trailer in here. And then this wagon will probably just sit out, but this wagon's older anyway, so I'm not real worried about that.
right, so now all the lugs are out. I got the two back tires off. As you can see, I just threw the lugs back in there then. And then over here are the tires. I'm gonna take them down and get them replaced. And I also wanna take these front two tires down, but I'm having a little trouble getting the wheels off from the hub. They're just froze fast. And when I say froze, I mean rusted. So I can't imagine they're that bad. I might have to just, maybe I'll spray some WD-40 behind there, let it soak in overnight. Or what I might do is take a two by four, not, uh, not hit so hard to bend it, but just try and knock it off, I don't know. But it's getting later now, I'm gonna go do barn work, turn on the heat in the potato storage, and I'll show you what Frank and Steph got done for today. They got a little over half of the field done. I mean, it looks so beautiful now. It's like a blanket of straw, evenly across the whole field. And then it's hard to see, but it goes down to almost the shed down there that you see. And so now, tomorrow when they come, tomorrow's supposed to be another beautiful day. They're gonna come right to here. My dad kind of marked it out with his feet. This is where the garlic stops, right here. This is all solid garlic. And then over here is gonna be my sunflowers, um, zinnias, and maybe even snap peas. We're not sure yet, but definitely the flowers. So tomorrow, like I said, they're gonna come. They should have no problem finishing this up because that piece there is actually wider than this piece here and then garlic will be done. And then the next thing we're gonna move into is drawing the strawberries. It's so peaceful being out here right now. It's dead calm. It's about 28 degrees and there's a beautiful sunset. So with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.